Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We got 2019 Bowman Chrome Baseball coming at you. 12 box uh, HTA edition. 12 box HTA, pick your team number six from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all of these wonderful people here for getting into the action. Daniel with Last Bot Mojo. Double Last Bot Mojo. Got the Pirates and the Nationals. And here is the HTA case right here. Oh. That's why we do that check. All right, so you see six on the left side, one, two, three, four, five, six, and six on the right side to make the 12. Whoa. Aya is saying free beers at Jaspies. Who's paying? Are you paying for those beers? Where can I get those beers? Just wheel a keg, right? We've got enough space for a... Bring a couple of kegs here. Toss them into a big, big plastic bucket of ice. Everyone likes Newcastle, right? What's up, Gilo? All right. We got for the Rangers, Jonathan Ornelius. Ornelis, that is. No, I. Ornelis. For the Rangers, that's for Jeffrey Laboda. Hi, Jeff. I feel like I've seen your name. In a little bit. Welcome. Then we've got some twins. We've got Johan Duran. Twinkies. Rory with the twins. Rory on the board early. Rory's a Brewers. He has his Rory has his Brewers too. Rory saying Brewers clinch. Time for a Brewers super fractor. Okay. And there's Freudis Nova. 128 out of 499 for the Strohs. That'll be for EA. Yeah, congrats to the Brewers. What a, I mean, Yelich went down and everyone was just like, that's it. But no, I mean, what a, what a past, like, couple of weeks, I guess. And they still have a shot, Rory, at snagging the uh, the division as well. I think the Cardinals lost that 18-19 inning or last night. I was up for the whole thing. I was on the Diamondbacks. Um, I, I watched the whole thing. And and so they lost yes last night and they lost tonight or today. They like played like in less than 12 hours they had another game. Looks like we got a relic in there. And so now, because of that, and, and the Brewers just playing some hot baseball, 19-4 and four for September, where he says, Brewers only at one and a half games back of the Cardinals. With only, what, like five, four or five games left? It's a pretty exciting finish. We got Mike Ciani for the Red Legs. That's going to go to Mitch. Looks like another Astro for EA, and that is Brian Abreu. Another one for EA. And the jersey and auto is for Rory. Corey Ray, 119 out of 150. On card autograph, too. There you go. Got a good autograph. Looks nice. Next box. So if the standings stand now, though, if the Brewers don't end up winning the division, 
Looks like the Brewers will face the Nationals in that wild card game. Come on, Rory. He's all Rory can say. How about a how about a thank you? And I'll say you're welcome. And then we'll we'll get to keep the good times rolling. We'll find you a Keston. There's Jay Cave. Can't win. Rory hit something. Complains. I don't hit anything. I don't hit anything for Rory. Complains. Can't win. If I, if I get him an out of five, why is it not a one of one? There's Jay Cave. Twins. Another one for Rory. We got Ryan Feltner. Ryan Feltner for the Rocks. That'll be for Rich. Rich Schmidt on the board. Oh, Rays just won. I'll talk about the Rays. Rays are just a half game ahead of the Indians for the second wild card spot in the AL. They can even get the first wild card spot too, I think. There's a nice Telmito Augustine for Daniel. Last spot mojo. I don't know. I don't believe that, Rory. I feel like I'll pull you an out of five and you'll be like, ugh. I already pulled that one. <laughs> I already have that one. Why not the one of one? I'm trying to build a rainbow. That's what I'll get. Nice mojo refractor, though. I think these look pretty sharp for Daniel and the Nationals. It's one of his last spot mojo teams. The A's are playing right now. The A's Angels game looks like it just started. Oh, that was optic. A's Angels just started, and the A's trying to hang on to a narrow half game lead ahead of the Rays to stay in that top wild card spot, or just a wild card spot in general. 40s Nova, another one for EA and the Astros. Frankie Montas with the start for the A's. We've got another national. We got James Bork for Daniel and the Nats. Nationals have clinched that wild card spot. And we got another one for the Red Legs for Mitch, Mike Ciani. This time it's out of 499. What happened to the Cubs? Cubs just melted down. I remember that that Cubs Cardinals series was huge the other week. Last week, sometime last week. I think they had three or they played three or four games against each other. And that was the big series. That's where the Cubs could have could have really like jumped ahead, big time. And I think they got didn't they get swept? And I remember John Harshbarger, who is a Cardinals guy, saying saying, "Oh yeah," he was kind of half joking, but he was like, "Oh yeah, the Cardinals going to get Cardinals going to sweep the uh, sweep the Cubs." But then I think that's what they ended up doing. Oh, right. I don't get this channel because it's a local game. Let's go to MLB Alternate Programming. What is my alternate game here? Or no, let's go MLB Tonight. How about that? All right, next one is... Demi, uh, Devi Garcia for the Yankees. That'll be for Junior. Sean, what's up? Anything you get tonight? Yes, plenty of things. Visit jaspiescasebreaks.com. We've got a lot of things available to do. We've got the second half of Spectra Football. 14, 13 teams left now. 
19 spots away from unlocking a flawless collegiate break. 19 spots in an 8x10 to win spots in flawless collegiate. I'll unlock that. Um, there are number blocks for Spectra Football now, for Spectra Football 30. We can do personal boxes of Bowman Chrome Baseball, HTA, and Hobby. We got Premier League Soccer, Black Diamond, Star Wars, Upper Deck Artifacts. So many things we can do tonight, Sean. All right. And we got for the Royals, we got Carlos Hernandez. And that is for Tim Langston in KC. And for the Metropolitans, for Mitch. 30 out of 150. There you go. There's a number right in the top right-hand corner. That is Gregory Guerrero. Next box. And we've got Edwin Yusida. For my Dodgers, Aaron Lint with the boys in blue. Well, this would be the year my Dodgers do it, and I don't know. It's hard enough to go to one World Series. It's hard enough to go to the second World Series in a row. I feel like it's even harder. to go to a third in a row and then win it. There's Brandon Bilak for the Astros. And another Astro, Green Atomic, 31 out of 99, Brian Abreu. Another one for EA. Damn Astros. I think they're going to go to the World Series, too. I don't know about the Dodgers. I hope, obviously, but that I don't know. Who does everyone have for the World Series? I know I know we don't have playoff teams all locked in yet. But who does everyone have for the World Series? I don't think a lot of AL teams, I don't think you guys want to play the A's. I feel like they've got the starting pitching, they got the relief pitching, they've got the hitting. That's a sneaky good team. All right, we've got Richard Gallardo for the Cubs. Don would like to see Astros Nationals. See, Nationals can do it. I'm a little worried about the Nationals. If the Dodgers have to face them, Max Scherzer, Steven Strasburg, and then Patrick Corbin, one, two, three. I don't want that. <laughs> Cubby goes to Greg Esfang. Next one is a Blue Jay. That is Alejandro Kirk. What about Do Dodgers A's? Could be fun. 1988 flashback to 1988. Blue Jays, that's for Darren McKenzie. DMAC has the Bluebirds. And then we've got Connor Pilkington. 158 out of one, or 158 out of 499 for the White Sox. That's going to be for Frank Berna.
All right, next box. I'd like to see the Twins. I mean, Major League Baseball and Fox wants... They want Dodgers-Yankees in the World Series. That's going to get... That would just be monster ratings. But I wouldn't mind seeing the Twins in the World Series. Twins would be a fun team to watch. Rory mentioning Astros Brewers as probably the worst possible outcome for Fox in Major League Baseball. Gregory Guerrero for the Mets, but I'd watch it. That'll be for Mitch. And for the Astros, there's Christian Javier for EA and the Strohs. Daniel saying Dodgers win it all this year? Gosh, I hope so. Actually, yeah, I'd, for Bob, that'd be great for Bob Euchre. I would just listen to. Do you think they still do low? Do you send, still do local radio? Do the local radio guys still do the World Series broadcast? I actually don't remember. And there is another Richard Gallardo, this time out of 499. Another one for Greg and the Cubs. Actually, no, I think like Ray's Brewers might be the worst rated of the group that's still remaining. Fox would not want that. Baseball wise, for me, I'll watch. I'll, I love baseball. I'll watch any game. I'm just saying for Fox, they don't want Brewers raids to happen. <laughs> they want like Yankees and another team, like Yankees Braves. They want Yankees Braves. They want Yankees Dodgers. They want Yankees Nationals. You know, they want Dodgers Yankees, Dodgers A's even. They want Dodgers Astros for the repeat aspect. All right. There is Melvin Adon. Gold, 41 out of 50. That card is gold. Michael with that one. Michael D. Little oppo Joe Mojo. Then we got for the Rangers. For the Rangers. That's Tyler Phillips. That's for Jeffrey L. And the Texas Rangers. And we've got we got Jonathan Machado. 236 out of 250. The Cardinals on the board. And that'll be Austin Mendenhall. All right, three boxes to go. Daniel says Dodgers and Astros. Dodgers win this time in six. Revenge game? I think that would be pretty cool. I don't know. Dodgers have to win it soon. <laughs> because I don't think... I mean, the, I, I feel like the AL West, or the NL West, that is, is going to be... Like, Diamondbacks had a strong season. They've got a lot of young talent coming up the ranks. You know, San Diego, if they get some pitching in order, they got some young talent coming up the ranks. The Rockies are not a 68-win team. 
You know, that that's kind of a weird, fluky season for them. You know? So, I don't know. I think this Dodgers run of winning all these titles back to back to back is just not going to be as smooth or as easy anymore. So I feel like they got to knock one out relatively soon. All right, we got the Yankees. Luis Gill for Junior and the Bronx Bombers. Was it? Is it the Yankees? Is it the last time a team has won two World Series in a row? Like late 90s Yankees maybe? We got for the Pirates. It's the last spot mojo team. We've got Jared Oliva. If his Dodgers asked you, do you put Cole or Verlander versus Kershaw game one? I don't think Kershaw will go game one. I think it'll be Walker Buehler or Hyunjin Ryu who will go one. That's for Daniel. And for the Brew Crew, that's going to be Peyton Henry. 45 out of 150 for Rory and his Brewers. Um, I think the Astros, well, this is actually still undecided. I think the Astros and the Dodgers and the Yankees are still battling for the best record in baseball, which will give them home field advantage in the World Series. The Astros have 103 wins, Yankees 102 wins, Dodgers 101 wins. And so, if the Dodgers get home field advantage, I, maybe I would think about starting Kershaw game one at home. But on the road, I think you, I think on the road, maybe you, you start Walker Buehler or Hyunjin Ryu in game one. And then set up uh, Kershaw for game three at home. And I think if you're the Astros, you, 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 you're starting Verlander game one almost every time, right? Nice. No worries, worry. Got some color in there, too. Still trying to see if your, your Twins prediction from earlier, is that going to come through? All right. All right, for the Padres, we've got Owen Miller for the Friars. That's going to be for Chris Berry. When's the new season of Barry coming out on HBO? Bob, what's going on? Yeah, this is what I'm saying. It's got to be Verlander game one all the time. I agree, Jared. Next guy is Ryan McKenna. For the Orioles, that's going to go to Aaron and the O's. And we've got some purple. Yes, A's. Jameson Hanna at a 250. JMO going to Aaron Lint as well. There you go, Aaron. And the last box, folks. Actually, we may have some more time at the end of the night. This break went a little bit faster than I thought it would. When did Nusi get called up? Dust off your Nusi autographs for the A's, ladies and gentlemen. And then we got for the Bluebirds, we got Adam Kloffenstein. Darren McKenzie has the Blue Jays. Two more to go. We got more Blue Jays. We've got Aurelvis Martinez. Two 
Two for two on Blue Jays. Third Blue Jay for Darren? Their teammate, maybe? No, but it's Victor Mesa Jr., Elite Farmhands autograph. That's pretty cool. Who's got the Marlins in this one? Jacob Hanks. That's Victor Victor's brother. Victor Victor Mesa's the highly touted prospect. This guy's pretty touted, too. But there's Victor Victor and then this guy, Victor Mesa Jr. Two out of 75. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Pick your team six in the books. Are we giving away money in this break? No, HEA, no money in this break. We used to, I think. All right, and there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Pick your team six in the books. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.